Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the NASA People's Choice Awards 2014. I'm your host and current NASA chair, Emma View. And I'm Mia Obertelli, your host, development officer and next year's chair. We're here live from the University of Essex Media Centre with Essex TV and coming up we've got a lot of stuff including revealing your new regional offices, next year's host station and of course the People's Choice Awards. And if the thrill of us on live television reading an unrehearsed script on autocue isn't enough reason to stay tuned, we also have announcements for everyone at NASA. A few jokes from our marketing officer that have a good 60% chance of being funny. And we also have our media desk. Hello, Robin Mitch. Hello from the NASA media desk. I'm Robin Sumner. And I'm slightly chilly. Throughout the broadcast, we'll be here reading your tweets, checking Facebook, and watching high quality cat videos on these screens you can't see. That's right, apart from that last one, which was just a joke. If you tweet us at NASA UK, if you're lucky, you should appear on the bottom of the screen and you can also use the hashtag NASA and hashtag People's Choice Awards. Don't forget Bew puns. This is your officially last chance to use Bew puns. My personal favourites are Knowing Me, Knowing Bew and Operation Bew Tree. But first, this. Know your NASA compare. <laughs> <laughs> that appears to be a, Q a VTQ. Mitchell Perry, and I'm part of the new NASA exec. But what exactly is NASA? I travelled all around Cortis to find out the true meaning of NASA. These interviews are the result of that adventure. This is Know Your NASA. Uh, thank you, Matthew Capone, for joining us. So sorry, sir, you can't smoke in here. That's strike one. You've been host officer, marketing officer, alumni officer. What's next for Matthew Capone? World domination. <laughs> In your long, illustrious NAFTA career, is there anything you regret? Don Capone won't be answering that question. That's strike two. What happens when we get to strike three? The same thing that happened to the previous marketing officer. Those videos will probably keep popping up every now and then, like bad tourism adverts, but now what we're we all here for. We go now to present our first award, the Golden Bodge Award. The Golden Bodge is a tradition of NASA. Every station gets a quote, a theme, and something else. Mitchell forgot when writing this. I think a genre. A genre? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> to present this award, we have the manager of SX TV, Tom Williams, <laughs> and his glamorous assistant, Regina Hari. Thanks. Firstly, thank you to all the stations who entered and voted for all these awards, and to Callum Brooks for counting the votes and making sure they were counted fairly. But before we announce the winner, Let's take a look at the shortlisted entries. The Golden Bodge Montage. No, you don't say that. <laughs> it's better than hitting. It's better than hitting. YSTV. Trent TV. And the winner is YSTV. Congratulations. And we have joint runners up Trent TV and CTV. We will sure, make sure the exec use some sort of delivery system to get this to you. FedEx, Royal Mail, Owl Wizardry, whatever it takes. And we hope the applause is six. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Is enough to, to <sighs> enough to <laughs> calm your ego. Back over to you guys. Back over to you guys. Well done, YSTV and Trent TV and CTV for runners up. The last few weeks for NASA have been very heavy on voting, voting for host station, voting for people's choice, and voting for literally everything else. Well, today we can announce that NASA 2015 will be jointly hosted by PSTV and LA1TV. 
PSTV will provide amazing accommodation and a venue for the event. And LA1 will provide the technical coverage of the event, live streaming it to the world. The host officer will be from PSTV and we'll have two deputy officers, one from PSTV and one from LA1 TV, Chris Osborne from LA1 and Matt Murphy from PSTV. And with that, we now go to our media desk. Listen, everything <laughs> is happening right now. We have hashtags, we have at symbols. Oh my God, the typography. Let's read some tweets. Um, Dan Needham tweets, loving the suspense for NASA UK's People's Choice Awards. <laughs> Nice. Um, sorry, choice is running. Oh, that's us. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we're, we're getting ready to. Uh, Dan Leadham tweets, getting ready to watch at National no. UK. What's happening? You appear to have gone too far on the auto queue, my loves. Uh, no. Uh, that, right. James Will again tweets in. Uh, tweets in. Me and Sam F. Walker are watching too. Good luck, guys. Cool. But now for some fictitious NASA news that I've just made up. CUTV have renamed themselves for the purpose of this joke, Cardiff Union Student Television and Radio Department. This new acronym has already formed an alliance with Royal Holloway Television Station, forming rhubarb and custard promotions. <laughs> Several NASA stations have formed an Earth, Wind and Fire tribute bands called Forge, Air and Spark. And breaking news, Rob Summoner has managed to stay awake halfway through a live NASA event. He is no longer unconscious and drunk. And we think that is worth applauding. Well done. And now, for more of my journey to the centre of NASA, this. My name is Mitchell Perry, and I'm part of the new NASA exec. But what exactly is NASA? I travelled all around Qantas to find out the true meaning of NASA. These interviews are the result of that adventure. This is Know Your NASA. I mean, he's working at Tesco's. We all know the perils of live television. It never starts on time. The mics are always broken just before you go on the air. Literally, literally everything can happen. For example, Emma Blue is currently downing a bottle of vodka. The scriptwriter forgot to write a joke. The auto cues always. Okay, and the shortlisted entries for People's Choice Live are. CTV. Nuts TV. Susu TV. YS TV. And the winner is YS TV again, with joint runners up Susu TV and Uni TV. Well done to all of you. And now this. Perry, and I'm part of the new NASA exec. But what exactly is NASA? I travelled all around Qantas to find out the true meaning of NASA. These interviews are the result of that adventure. This is Know Your NASA. You said in your NASA manifesto that you want to develop the NASA wiki further. How do you plan to do this? Wiki wiki. Are you looking forward to working with Janet next year? Wiki wiki. And are you, are you station manager of Guild TV again next year? <laughs> Wonderful. I look forward to seeing your work. So now we've got something to talk about to you guys, which I mentioned in the AGM um, this year about sponsorship. 
Um, so we've been in talks of a company for a long while now, um, probably since, um, gosh, how long? October, a while, a while, maybe. They first spoke to Rowan um, and then it's just been ongoing. And basically, there's been a lot of talk to us about um, software. And I hope that this is something that we can get in touch with and encourage, like, well, Mia and her team obviously can, for the next year. Um, they've got in touch about audio loudness. And so Nugent Audio have decided to give each of our affiliation sta affiliated stations a license to one of their products, haven't they? Yes, yeah, they have. Um, they basically works with Avid, um, uh, Prem Pro, um, Final Cut, and several other ones that's built in there. So you can install it as a plugin, and then it brings up a, another interface where you can do your loudness and, or, well, do your loudness. Um, <laughs> monitor it. Yeah, monitor your loudness to make sure your outputs uh, current to standard if that's what you wish to do um, yeah. yeah it's quite very I've played it a bit it's quite good it's very nice um, but yeah thanks to Nugent for those for yeah brilliant licenses. yeah it's very nice so if your station is interested in you know using it and getting one for us for us for you <laughs> your station um, all you have to do is drop a chair at nasta.tv or technical at nasta.tv they have the licenses, we have the spreadsheet, so we can issue your station a license and go from there. So we hope it's something you guys will benefit from. And honestly, if there and is any companies that you guys feel could benefit from a situation like this where we could get potentially free licenses for software, I'm not talking like the big ones, like big <laughs> editing software, let's start small. But do drop us a line and do let us know because this hopefully will be the start of many. Good. Thank you. Thanks. And now I've got something else for you. My name is Mitchell Perry, and I'm part of the new Netscape Tech. But what exactly is Napster? I travelled all around Colchester to find out the true meaning of Napster. These interviews are the result of that adventure. This is Know Your Napster. Today we are lucky enough to be joined by a legend of Napster. He was technical officer for two years, and now he's your returning officer. Uh, he's quite frankly a legend. Uh, Please welcome Count Milky Brooks. Yes. Uh, we have reports that the stream has gone down for certain people. I don't know how to fix this because I'm at a desk, but I'm sure our technical officers are on it now. In other tweets, uh, Ben Hilton is watching pirate videos. Oh, no, playing pirate games. Nice. That's good. That's good to know. Nice. Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah. Tweets are going well. Uh, but though we are working on getting the stream back to you, though me telling you this now on the stream is a bit pointless. <laughs> <laughs> now for some nasty news. <laughs> Glasgow Union have been engaged in a battle with the Nintendo industry over similarities with their name and their Pokemon attack. Fortunately, Glasgow struck first, they used Gust, and it was super effective. <laughs> Southampton University have been inspired by LSU and have a sub singing a remix of SU 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 Studio. That's Su 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 Studio for the, for the joke to work, who knew? <laughs> and Pasta Alumni uh, section has been incorrectly listed as a subsection of the Pastafarian religion by the UK government. This results in Matthew Capone, the alumni officer, now being constitutionally obliged to wear a, a colander on his head at all times. That's it for your last news, now this. What exactly is Nasta? I travelled all around Colchester to find out the true meaning of Nasta. These interviews are the result of that adventure. This is Know Your Nasta. Is he not coming either? Why didn't Nasta even have a marketing officer? Now for the announcement of the night, it's the regional officers! Way! Nasafarians from all around the country have applied to be regional officers this year and we'd just like to thank all of those who applied. It really does mean a lot, so thanks guys. So without further ado, here are your new regional officers. <clears throat> for Wales, Sam Booth! 
for Scotland, it's Campbell Logan. For the north of England, Hamish Mullen. Northeast Julia Bond returns. <laughs> for the East Midlands, the one and only Elliot Wengler. And West Midlands is unfulfilled. For London, the beautiful Holly Abbott. And for South, it's Seb Fred. Congratulations to all. We look forward to working with you. Finally, we have our last award, People's Choice Open. But first, this. My name is Mitchell Perry, and I'm part of the new NASTA exam. But what exactly is NASTA? I travelled all around Colchis to find out the true meaning of NASTA. These interviews are the result of that adventure. This is Know Your NASTA. No, look, I don't care what you say, you are literally the worst one of the bunch. I mean, all you do is mock your friends, mock the exec, mock Nasta itself. And then all you want to do is control it like you're some kind of genius. Well, do you know what? You're an idiot who for some reason got elected because of either, I think it was dick jokes and cake. Do you know what? You do not deserve this position. You do not deserve to be on the exec and you do not deserve to be in that chair. I hate you and I, and I hate everything about you. You disgust me that much. You are literally the worst person in the world. You know that. And the last award of the night is the People's Choice Best Open. And the shortlist is... Spark TV with... <laughs> it's the VT oh, shit. <laughs> I'm great at this. Spark TV. LSTV Fresh TV PSTV Spark TV with runner-ups UST uh, YSTV YSTV because <laughs> it wouldn't be right to end the night with USTV winning everything YSTV YSTV you <laughs> Poor Mitch, you can't read <laughs> It's not so as dyslexia you, you guys have got to us I think we also okay, need hey someone else in here. Um, what yeah. do we say? Hold on, I'll, I'll secure this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the show. Thank you for all the stations that entered the People's Choice Awards and congratulations to all those who won. Thank you for SX TV for hosting the People's Choice Awards and to all of you watching. <laughs> and obviously I'm leaving, so bye everyone. It was nice working with you. I love you. Stay in touch. Please don't leave me um, <laughs> no, I love you all congratulations to all the winners and I look forward to where your stations are going to go in the future here's Essex oh, own oh, Ollie Morris <laughs> you out thank you very much for tuning in I think I've lost the ground beneath my feet And I know that it's just gone 1 a.m. But it's cold, it's late, I'm walking home And I could use a friend only The last few days weren't great I could have sworn that we were mates And we've lost the 
subtleties and most of all I wish that you had the strength to come and talk to me It's not as if I don't like you I like your stupid jokes and the other silly things you do like the time let go of my hand and wouldn't leave my side even though nothing went to plan and now you can't even find my eyes in my face I'm lost inside and I'm passing the tree where you said those things to me I got home fine all right, but now I just can't sleep and I know that it's just gone 3 a.m. Soon enough I'm gonna fold and I just need a friend. 